The mood for a new Middle East peace plan is tepid at best. Uh, Dean Obadidala is an Arab-American comedian who is known for using his comedy for social commentary. Dean has written an open letter to President Obama with suggestions on how he can win over the Arab world. Welcome, Dean. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. Oh, we, we're looking forward to it. So there's this new Pew Research poll out that shows the Arab world dislikes America as much as ever, despite its desire for democracy. Why is that? Well, when I've been in the Middle East, I've been performing stand-up comedy the last three years there a lot, from Egypt to Saudi Arabia. Um, I, I saw, honestly, I was there the day after President Obama was elected, and crowds of over 4,000 people in Cairo cheering for President Obama. I was in the Middle East in June 2009 when he gave his Cairo speech. I was performing in Muscat Oman, and believe me, he had the Arab world at hello, or more accurately, at Salaam Alaikum. But recently, I've noticed the crowds have, have diminished their cheering for President Obama. It's not a dislike for American people or, or America. It's a disappointment, frankly, in you know, this great rhetoric saying we're going to change. We want the Arab world to be our friend. And I liken it to the fact that like, America is like the, the cool kid in high school. And the Arab world wants to sit at our cafeteria table with us and be our friend. And they see Israel sitting with us all the time. They want to sit down. They, they want to swap the falafel with apple pie. And we have a good time together. And sometimes I think that they feel that they're, they're kept at arm's length. So you know, some of my advice is reaching out to the Arab world through my op-ed as I wrote there, the specific yeah, and things. Also in your op-ed, you suggest jobs would make uh, Arabs love uh, President Obama more, but let's face it, jobs would make Americans love President Obama yes. more. So how realistic is that, that America could help Arabs create more jobs? Well, in that, I, I actually I reached out using social media, Facebook and Twitter, the same ones used in the recent revolutions, and asked the young Arabs for, across the region, what are the issues of most concern to you? And there were three, two practical and one emotional. The practical one, was job creation. Obviously, it's difficult for the President of the United States to create jobs there. Other than using our expertise and perhaps financial aid to create an environment for more business investments. The other was democratic reform, specific to each country. The Arab world is not a monolithic place. The third, though, was the most emotional issue, the one you just brought up. That's the Palestinian-Israeli issue. The, the young Arabs are linked to that, just like the older generation. They want to see American leadership, and they want us to see us fair and just and our resolution and our leadership in that. Not just one side, not just pro-Israel, but we have to have some, some fairness in it. And that'll help both, frankly, the Palestinians and Israelis and America in reaching out to the 300 plus million people in the Arab world. Fascinating. And, and Dean, I wish we could talk to you more, but in your, also in your, um, your op-ed piece, you talked that uh, President Obama should openly smoke in the Arab world because they're into smokers there. They love smoking. I went to a gym. They were at, there's an ashtray and a treadmill. I said, you got them smoking, President Obama, during the speech. They'll love it. Believe me. Dean, thank you. We appreciate your being Thanks. here. If you want to read more of Dean's editorial, go to CNN.com slash opinion. Uh, there you will find his complete open letter to President Barack Obama. And of course, you can see the president's...